G'day guys. So in today's video, I'm going to have a look at my AC on my 2003 Honda CRV. What we're going to need to test this out is at least a paperclip, but possibly also a little test light that connects onto an earth. You plug that in the power source, the 12 volt, and this globe should glow. So what's going on with my car? At the moment, turn the heater on, turn the AC on, light comes on, my RPM doesn't drop, and my car doesn't get cold. Well, the cabin doesn't get cold. I did get the gas, the aircon regas last year. Granted, I've only had this car for about a year and a half. So, come up to a new summer, turn the aircon on, my RPM doesn't drop, and it's not cold. In the meantime, I have had the front radiator support out, so I have disconnected a few wires. Now, I'm not sure if I'm low on gas or if there's a more major problem, but this is what I've done to diagnose it. So if we open the bonnet to have a look, look at the motor here, we have our lines here, and looking around, and I'm not seeing a sensor, a pressure sensor. I'm not sure if it's a high or low pressure sensor. I'm going to assume it's low pressure sensor as it is on this side. But if I keep looking around, looking around, eventually I can spot it down here. Now, it is underneath the front of my headlight right here. We'll try and get a visual on it. Where are we? So we are looking about... Where are we? Uh, under here. Those two wires there, they go into the connection itself. I should be able to pinch it on both sides of it and pull it back. So I should be able to grab it like that and pull back. And then what I'm going to do is put the paper clip in there. So where are we? You can just see the two wires at the bottom of the light. Now looking right here. So if I grab that pinch it, I can pull that back, and what we're looking at is here. So I'm going to put my paper clip in there, I uh, don't know if I can show that, as I will need two hands to do that. Bingo, so I've managed to get that in there. Now do make sure that doesn't touch anywhere on the body, so do probably tape that up, but if you're just doing a quick diagnosis and not really driving the car, as long as it's dangling in some way that's not going to make contact with the body, it should be okay, but if you want to go on the side of caution, wrap some electrical tape around that, and you should hopefully be okay like me. Now, let's get back to the cabin. So right now I've got the paper clip installed. I did have to do it twice, as the first time it didn't quite work. But if I turn my heater on, or my AC on now, I can either clutch engage, my RPMs drop, and I turn it off. And again, and I can hear that engage. So to me, that pressure switch also detects if there's any actual, or how much gas you've got in there, or refrigerant. So I'd say right now I may have a slow leak on my system, and that's because, or at least I know my compressor is acting exactly as it should. Now one other thing you can do to test out the compressor to make sure that it, or the wiring to the compressor, is this. So Danny, I've removed the plastic trim that's normally living down here, and I've got my 12 volt tester. And if we have a look under here, I've connected this up to the sump for an earthing, and there's a single wire. We've got the radiator switch here, and next to it is a single wire that runs off to the top of the AC condenser or compressor. So what I'm going to do now is turn the car back on and enable the AC. I should hear the clutch not engage on here, so that should not engage, but I just want to test that there is 12 volt going to here, which is then telling me that when the AC, when the AC is turned on, it's telling it to actually start up here. Because right now if I turn it on, without jumping the low pressure switch, this won't actually power. So the biggest question I've got with this is, 
Am I just simply low on gas? And so far, the answer se seems to be yes. So if I turn it on, turn here, my RPMs don't drop because it's not telling the compressor to go. Fans, fans kicking in. So with all that testing, what I'm happy to say is I believe I'm just low on gas. My compressor's kicking on, the RPMs are dropping, it's not making any weird noises. Right now when I hit that, I get no RPM drop when everything's fully connected. And the pressure switch, once jumped, is causing the RPM to drop and the, and the condenser fan to turn on. So I believe I'm just simply low on gas. What I'm going to do now is also run the... I'm just going to leave the paper clip connected. I'm going to run the car for a little bit and just let it idle and have the AC on and just see if it gets cold in here if it does and it, or it gets very lukewarm then I'll probably conclude that I just simply need a regassing. So hopefully with the jumper pin and your test light to be able to hopefully be able to diagnose whether or not you're simply low on gas and have a leak somewhere in the system or that you may have further problems with your AC compressor.